okay, ladies, so why do we do this to ourselves? Look at the white. Isn't that cool? That is eyelash primer, in case you're interested. And it's from Essence. Let me see if I can find it back here. Oh, here it is right here. This is what I'm using. I got this from Ulta for like five bucks. I'm sitting here doing my makeup and I just think, wow, that is so cool. And then I have some mascara and this is called, this is Essence. Isn't it pretty? Look at that little container. This is like a, um, is it so without my glasses? A Lash Princess. It says Lash something. <laughs> I can't read without my glasses. But here we go. It's very pretty, isn't it? And then they have a waterproof one. Let's see. Here's the waterproof one. If I don't mess my camera up trying to get it. There's the waterproof one. So aren't they pretty? So you just um, put the, after you get your eyelash primer on there, it's white as you can see. So I may have to look in a regular mirror, one of these magnifying mirrors to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. There we go. Things we ladies have to do. I have to say, I do love my makeup, though. And I just recently discovered this brand at Ulta called Essence. There we go. <laughs> oh, and then, before I did that, I put on this Essence finishing spray. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to go do a video for you guys. Whip Caddy Wednesday, which is actually going to go out today on Thursday. <laughs> and then I'm going to hang out with um, hopefully my daughter and my grandkids and my sister. Um, yeah, just some fun stuff. Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Today is Whip Caddy Thursday. <laughs> it's supposed to be Wednesday, but oh my gosh, I was just so busy, had so much stuff going on that I just could not uh, fit in my videos for this week. And so I'm going to try, or I am, I'm not trying, I'm doing it right now. Right, guys? <laughs> I'm right here. So um, I'm going to try to get this video out today and... Um, I've actually learned two new stitches, so I will be getting those out. But yeah, so it's Whip Caddy Thursday. So today's coffee that I am drinking, I just thought I'd bring the bag in here. This is one of my favorite coffees that I like, and it's just from Walmart. It's great value. The French Vanilla, medium, sweet, and creamy. I love this. I have it in the K-Pods as well, and um, it's just one of my favorites. And so, anyway... Let's go ahead and just grab you something to drink, grab you something to eat, sit back and relax, and just enjoy some good old Whip Caddy Thursday talk. Mmm, it is sweet and creamy. And I just drink it just like it is. I don't add anything to it. Okay, so one of the things is I have received some beautiful Christmas cards. And I have received a beautiful Christmas gift. And um, I'm going to show that to you guys in another video because I think it deserves its own video, a Happy Mail video, a Christmas Happy Mail video. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I have been working on. Um, I'm still working on the washcloths, and I will show that to you guys here in a second. But right now, I finished um, my little Grinch outfit. Here's for the 18-inch dolls. There's the top. Here's the little shoes, the boots, I guess you could say. And 
There's the little hat right here. And then there are the little Grinch pants. So this pattern went out, um, I guess yesterday. It's for sale for on. It's for sale for fifteen percent off, I think, for about a week. So go snag it. <laughs> the other thing is the actual Grinch hat here, and I love these little things right here. And then I made the scarf, and I don't see my other little shoe. I must have dropped it somewhere. And let's see. Yeah, I guess I dropped it somewhere. And then there's the Grinch suit right here. I was going to um, like brush these out, but guys, I've been so busy, I haven't gotten around to it. So if you make this pattern and you want to kind of take a brush or something and kind of brush this out, including this, you can take a needle and, you know, open those up and have it more uh, bushy looking. And I think it'll be just adorable. But I haven't gotten around to that, so. Anyway, and that's what I just finished or got released. And there is a pattern that I'm going to hopefully get in my pattern shop today. And that is this one right here. This cute little Charlie Mae outfit. This is the little sweater. I took it off so that you could, guys can see the little dress underneath. There's the shoes. Let's see. There we go. And there's the headband. Just adorable. So this pattern will be going up. Um, in my Etsy shop, so be sure and look for that. This looks so, would look so cute in just so many colors. It's just unreal. Um, this was not a good choice for me to do the this right here in this dark color. It would look a lot better if it was done in a white or some something that is a lighter color than the dark because you really can't see the little puff stitches uh, done in this dark as you can. Let me show you like you can in this right here. See the difference? How pretty those little puff stitches are. And you can't really see it that well in this dark color. So anyway, if you're planning on making this, if you buy this pattern and you want to make this, I would recommend using a lighter color for your puff stitches. But the little puff goes around the headband and then there's a beautiful puff flower. <laughs> and there's the shoes with little socks. So anyway, so look forward to that one. It's the Charlie May dress that I did. And I used all Big Twist yarns for this, guys. Except for the black. I used the Mega Ball yarn from Hobie. And let's see. The red is Big Twist. And it's all medium full weight yarn as well. And I used an H hook for the majority of this, and a which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. And then the 4 point millimeter crochet hook for some of the things, like uh, the pants, I think, was may have been done with a four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I made two pair. Um, the dress, I, I'm pretty sure is an H, but I know the shoes, that's what it is. The shoes and the hat, I know we're done with a four. But anyway, so this color right here is called Varsity Red. It's Big Twist. And this one is white, Big Twist. The, I really wish I'd had more of a lime green color but I didn't. This is the limiest green I've got, and it's light green and big twist. The purple, as you see on there, like if this had been done in dark purple with the lavender as the puff, it would have looked good, a lot better. Uh, this is called Grape, and this one is soft purple. So that's the colors that I use to make the Santa Grinch and the Charlie May outfit. Okay, so I ran into the other room and where I'm working, I grabbed the project that I'm working on. So let me show this to you guys. I'm working on washcloths. And uh, Bath and Body Works has their really cool scented um, bars of soap for $3, Thursday and Friday, I believe. And so I'm going to go and snag some of those to go along with these washcloths. So um, here are some of the washcloths that I just completed. There's one, two, and I do have a tutorial on this. And then there's the red and gray, and then the red and gray. Now, I am going to make this person um, a solid pink one and a solid red one. So this person, with this is actually two people, it's a couple. So the guy will get the two, the three reds and the female will get the three pinks. And so, um, I'm going to work on that over this weekend. And um, anyway, so I'm going to get two bars of soap 
to go along with this from Bath and Body Works. And I am using the Hobie's Friend 8-8 Cotton. So this is my gray, red, and then my pink that I'm using. And a G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook if you're interested in this. And like I said, I'll uh, leave a link in the description box below if you're interested in that. So the other set is another couple that I'm working with. And here are their colors. They are doing, I'm doing the purples with that. I'm about to drop it. There we go. So, um, so far I've gotten, I've gotten one done. And let's see. The other one is going to be the navy and gray. And then, of course, you saw that one, the purple and gray. I'm just about finished with all the washcloths. And then I just got to make two pairs of slippers from my slipper pattern. And um, I just about, I guess, will probably have all my crochet Christmas stuff that I really, really wanted done. Um, I would like to throw in a few more things, but those were the things that I felt like I had to have done. And then, like I said, I'm going to Bath and Body Works. I'm going to snag some of the uh, bars of soap and um, why they're for three dollars and get that oh and then i would love to have some of these for myself um i guess i'll just have to do start making mine after christmas but i would like to have like at least 10 of these i love these washcloths and um but i'm always making them for other people i've got one one washcloth <laughs> for myself and i just like Anyway, so as soon as Christmas is over, I'm going to try to make me about 10 of these. And I'm not going to have mine where everything matches. I'm just going to use whatever uh, cotton yarn, this Hobie cotton yarn that I've got left in, in my stash, and just throw colors together. <laughs> because um, I don't really have anything that kind of goes together at this point. So it's not like I can have, you know, three of the pink and gray. There's not enough gray. There's not enough pink, you know, so I'm just going to throw the colors together and come up with some pretty ones and, or it's, you know, I guess sometime after Christmas, <laughs> but yeah, I would like to have at least 10 for myself. Uh, let's see. I guess that's really all that I have. Um, let's go ahead and see what things you guys are working on. Y'all have some amazing, beautiful projects going on. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here we have Kelly's cart and project. She says that her whip caddy, which ironically doesn't have any whips because she has just has the big one right now, her Christmas blanket using Hershner's worsted yarn in the color Very Merry and Bagel Days pattern, and she leaves the link in the um, in her post on Facebook. She says, many blessings to everyone and Merry Christmas. And Kelly, thank you for sharing that. That is beautiful. Okay, so here we have Pam's whip cart. She says, good morning. She says she's been having fun making all these projects. The top shelf is a super texture beanie pattern by Bagel Day. It's fall, y'all, cow pattern by Crochet with Claire and the Crochet Christmas Snowman, which is a paid pattern from Etsy. The second shelf, she has hanging ornaments from various designers on YouTube, and she's purchased some little bows that she may use on some others that she makes. The bottom shelf is a Harvest Twist Ear Warmer by MJ's Off the Hook, made for her male lady, How um, cute is that. Uh, lastly, the finished all linked up afghan design by Bag o Day. It's beginning to feel like Christmas and blessings to all of her yarny friends. Well, blessings to you and Merry Christmas to you. So here we have Susanna's whip space. She's working on a Bag o Day summer top and she's going to use it for a bathing suit cover up and she's working on Annie's block of the month afghan and she's making two of them. And let's see, the bottom shelf is on the car is some wool that she can use to make a tote, a felting tote on Bag of Day Crochet that she really likes a lot, and she's going to give it a go. And she is working on pocket shawl, and she's going to make another basket with a six-weight yarn. And the basket is going to be for her, and she's looming a wrap for her uh, granddaughter-in-law that she likes in black, and she's going to be velvet, and that she hopes it inspires somebody and for everyone to have a great holiday. Okay, I told you, y'all had some beautiful stuff. I hope that um, all of you viewers out there are, or that were watching have been inspired by that because I am. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I hit my 30K. Oh, I'm so excited. So, um, my husband is going to take me out to eat somewhere really nice Saturday and to celebrate. 
So I will get, try to get some pictures of that wherever it is he's going to take me to celebrate the 30K. And I will be having a giveaway. So that will come next week. So be sure and look forward to that. Um, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and do our uh, Be Still and No Devotion. Uh, today is, what, the 14th? So I'll have to put my specs on for this, guys. Okay, it's brokenness. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Psalms 34, 18. Broken things are considered worthless and thrown away. The shattered glass, the old toy, the pen that has run out of ink. The world is full of people with hearts that are broken by betrayal, disappointment, or loss. At some point, all of our hearts were broken by sin, selfishness, pride, and willfulness, strongholds that God needed to break in our lives. There is a beauty to brokenness because in the mending process, we see Jesus at work. When we are broken, we are ripe for repair and need to return or and need to turn to the master rebuilder. When we come to Christ with a repentant heart, God draws close to save us. When life gets tough and circumstances crush the spirit, God draws close to comfort us. When our desperation drives us to our knees, God draws close to deliver us. Is your heart broken today? Cry out to the master rebuilder. He will begin the work. Lord, I need some repair work done in my heart today. Thank you for being broken so my brokenness can be healed. Wow, that is just beautiful and so needed today. All right, guys, that is all that I have for this video. Like I said, be sure and look forward to um, the two new stitches of the week. I'm excited about those. And um, a tutorial for a shawl. And let's see. Oh, and the Happy Mail. I can't forget the Happy Mail. Oh my gosh, I love the Happy Mail. So be sure and look forward to those videos. And um, be sure and run over to my Etsy shop and check out my patterns. And I do have flash drives as well. Well, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Just uh, remember to live life and have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.